and welcome back to another episode of Mad Max. Today, uh, I think we're just gonna kind of, it might be a filler episode, but I'm also trying to uh, hunt down some more uh, project equipment. So then when we go to Jeet, we can build it all and uh, also try to uh, take back the territories that um, Scrotus has been taking. Somewhere we can rebuild. Jeet, of the Great White, we can make a deal. Trust me. Alright, I'm not exactly sure why it keeps putting me in this hideout area uh, for Chum, but it's fine. Um, okay, so today we're going to start off with doing, uh, we'll start with this. We just might as well just fast, wait, what? Uh, we can fast travel to these locations. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's not going to be any main story quest, I don't think, today. Uh, we'll we'll do that. What is this place? Let's start uh, outside. Th this part of the great... Oh, they want me to go to Jeet, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so we have an encounter. Um, talk to the Wastelander to get a prologued task to complete. Or, or um, an Intel counter. Talk to the Wastelander to get valuable information about the world. So we'll go to this person what first. Cheat's territory. Like every... All right, we're at our at our guy. Don't stray. Oh hell. Oh hell. What the? Oh, you wanna you wanna beef with me, homie? Oh. I must say, they probably should not have stopped. God, he's got wrecked, dude. All right. Um. <clears throat> Not exactly the best start for them, but anyway, let's continue. See what homie has to say for us. You look like death in a death ray, friend. You the one who spewed Destructo on the Red Eye Graveyard? See? <laughs> I got me some peepers. I spotted your car and knew. If you want to stick it to the mummy some more, then help us out root him out. We need some help with the god dang explosives. Okay. Guess I'm going on a quest for this guy? <clears throat> Alright, legend. Legend encounter. Destroy all the buzzard, uh, buzzard lairs in the Great White to stop their numbers. To stop their number of attacks from increasing. I get a Griff token for it, so we can definitely do that. I'm actually down for that. Uh, interesting how they like replace the cars. Alright, so now my question is Where exactly do I go? It said the Great White, right? Isn't the well I'm assuming this whole freaking area is considered the Great White. Like this, you know. Um Oh, there we are. The buzzard layer. So that's what they look like. They look like little freaks. All right. I might actually um might do this encounter and maybe talk to this guy. Well, where the heck is he? I don't see him. Oh, he's up top. Crap. All right. If we run into any like patrols or whatever, we'll we'll try and uh, end them. There's a scarecrow right there, might as well grab that while we're around here. Hi. Looks a little bit rough. I'm kind of wondering now if I have a, a strong enough um, spear to take down the scarecrow because I might have to shoot it from the distance. I might not be able to get up there. She reached that. That doesn't look like it. I'm not actually sure. Oh, smart, bro. Absolutely smart, dude. Look at these guys. Watch this move. Blink. Shoot it. 
Oh my god, I did it again. I hate that though. Okay, so this is my gripe with the game, right? When you quit and you come back in, by default they put you back on the shotgun, even if you quit and your weapon was on the harpoon. I actually don't like that they do that. Alright, let's try this again, I guess. Oh, you didn't shoot it again. I clicked multiple times. Alright, I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to jump up and then stop. Maybe I can make it up without NOS. Let's see if I can make it up without NOS. Well, there's NOS now. There we go. Saying, just cheat better. Appreciate what I'm doing for them. I'm doing this for the fun of it. Right, to be fair, I actually am. Bitch, get out of here. Got boom buggy. That sounds like a suicide bomber. Got him. All right, that was another one of them, but I'm not sure where he went to. That was close. That was. Oh, stop, stop, stop. That was close. I did not think I was actually going to make that jump. Now, of course, we got to get our uh, our trusty scrap, right? Because that's 10 scrap, 11 scrap, pretty much. And now I'm sitting at. I actually don't know how much I'm sitting at. How much scrap do I have? Three, 388. Not bad. I do need 600, though, because I do want to get the upgraded spear. All right, let's take these guys out, and then we're gonna uh, move back along to our quest at hand. Become a little bit distracted, but it's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this guy. You know, oh my God, my car, bro, dude. Can you flip and imagine what your body would actually look like if this was real life? Oh, he's got a shank. Look at him. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I had to see somebody get in a boxing ring and box like this guy boxes, this guy dead. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I would pay to watch his fights every single time. I don't care if I have to fly to like fucking Vegas, bro. I would do it. Alright, so we've got one scrap. We need one more scrap. It's probably one project right here. Uh, this is the. Oh, the cleanup crew. We need one more and we got the whole cleanup uh, clean crew. Alright, so we need one more scrap part. Where would that be? Here it is. Yeah, fairly easy. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're going to move on to the um, subject at hand, which is going to be the encounter. I said I was going to actually go to the encounter, but I feel like this is too good to be true right now. And I don't know, I keep forgetting to like pause the video when I'm driving, because I mean, driving takes up a lot of time, and it's pretty redundant to just watch me drive a lot, so um, I'm going to try to do better to remember to pause those. But for these kind of gameplays, I'm definitely going to let you guys come along and watch. Watch me fall on some bitches. Sound that it makes when you hit somebody. That fucking hard. It's just the sound that you would hear when you feel like you've actually hit somebody so hard. You've snapped every bone in their face. God, can I get back up? Okay, good. 
There was two paths I could have taken. I feel like... I feel like there's something on the other end. Ooh. Because here's the thing, right? There was only one... There's six scrap in here? This is going to be an adventure, boys. It's a lot of scrap. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. You fall down there, you're pretty done. <clears throat> Max reminds me of like Indiana Jones. Like he would be Indiana Jones in the apocalypse. Right. Oh, you Wait, why are you getting so violent, bro? You told me to come. Oh, dude, you are fucking dead now. God. Jesus. Uh, he's still alive. Oh, no, he's not. I saw his little eyes. I saw the water coming from his eyes. Not the water, the white stuff when you smack them silly. I guess it like mesmerizes them. Alright, so we are at four out of six scrap. What else is in here though? That's what I want to know. So just scrap, we're just looking for scrap. So we can do some water. I feel like I'm about to find something really big and strong in this cave. Ooh, 30% bonus. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I would not have actually felt that if I never had the 30% bonus, I don't think. Um, so, I believe straight is the way we need to go. I feel like... I feel like this is taking me back. Like, kind of like it's one big circle. I might be wrong though, let's see. Yo, I'm gonna tell, tell you one thing now though. <laughs> Ever since I upgraded Max and I've increased his like melee damage, <sighs> buddy, <clears throat> he is he is like hitting people like with three pieces, bro. It actually used to be to the point where I, I think I would like hit them. Why can't I grab this? Like I would hit them, but they would get back up, and I'd have to hit them down again, and then they would die. I'm just do do do, and they're dead. is a lot more than I bargained for and did not realize this was going to be such a big one. Okay, so this is the entrance, right? Yep, this is the entrance. So I did do a circle and now I have missed I've missed something. How have I missed something? It's down there, nothing. Uh, it's kind of nice that it did a circle, but it kind of sucks ass that I've missed it. Let me see, have I missed it? Yeah, I'm missing one scrap, dude. I gotta get it. It's like nothing here that I can climb, right? I actually can't wait to uh, start upgrading Max's clothing. I feel like his car is way more important at this point in the game, but I'm very excited to see uh, what happens when I start doing his clothes and stuff. There's nothing in this box? That's really weird. Maybe there was something in there. Hmm. I feel like if I had to shoot that down, there'd be some indication some indication of like doing that I feel like this is one of the caves that's like gonna out try and outsmart me I really doubt I can fall down there I feel like if I did I was pretty much pretty much done I 
And I might be dumb for running through this twice. It might be like perhaps on the outside, maybe. Was scrap right there. I will find this. I'm not gonna give up. Oh, well, knowing me though, I might have run past it already. Uh, that did not sound good. It sounded freaking terrifying, actually. Well, we're back and there's no scrap. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to go and see on the outside if there is any scrap. Maybe I missed something on the outside. This is this is tricky, bro. This is very tricky. All right, I'm gonna search this until I find it, and I'll be back when I do. All right, so <clears throat> unaware, unaware of um, this little uh, situation here, you actually there's a hole in the wall that I didn't notice. I noticed it as I came back, um, which I'm assuming this is where the final piece of um, scrap would be also off camera I pretty much just ran around like one extra time really didn't really take me that long to actually get to this point it was way longer than I th uh, way shorter than I thought it would be I knew there, there had to be something in that room I was more so pondering um, like maybe climbing up and see if I couldn't maybe climb up on like a cage or something that's what I was gonna try and do Oh, Jesus. Where the hell am I? Is that where I pulled down that effigy? Might be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I have jumped into that hole? Probably not. Well, my only concern is I have to run all the way back. Oh, my God. Alright, so we finally made it. We're back in the vehicle. We're, um... About to head... <laughs> I keep saying we're about to head to this mission, but... I don't know. I can't even lie to you guys. If there's something on the way, I'm probably gonna stop because it just saves me time. Um, from having to come all the way back. But, I think... I think we should be good now. What the hell? What is that? Oh... Bunch of sneaky sneaks. Alright. Alright, I see you. I'm gonna fall down and break my neck, but hey, it's all good. Actually, that was quite a fall. Anyway, yeah, I twisted my ankle. I suck. Alright guys, so what is in this place? Nothing that I have to look for by the looks of things? Let's have to fuck these things up. What's up, bish? Slugger mode activated. Ya punk! If I remember correctly, I think the, the actual blocking stops the um, little rampage he goes on. I think it like stops the strike or something. What is this? Now my concern is, I could do that, right? I can do that, but is there anything in here for me? And also... It doesn't look like it, it just looks like it's that one room, so... Oh, I'm getting turned around. There it goes. Alright, so when I run out, I'm going to be running up, down, across this way to that ladder. Okay. Pretty much going to wrap a loop, it looks like. I'm probably not going to need this weapon. 
Wait. Ha! Ah, we did get loot. Oh, we're at 600. That means immediately we want to upgrade the harpoon. So the bumper hook attachment. The power of this harpoon almost makes my head spin. The wonders can be done now. The wonders. I guess the wonders might be a new type of uh, scarecrow. Uh, can be done now that we can slam into the tail end of an enemy. Oh my god, that is pretty cool. Connect the rear the rear bumper of a vehicle and perform a harpoon slam attack when hitting boost. So how does that work? Connect connect to the rear bumper of a vehicle. Okay, so you basically harpoon it, you shoot it, and perform a harpoon slam attack when hitting boost. So you shoot the back of it, and I'm guessing you just boost and you slam into it. Uh, the increased durability also enables the harpoon to pull down strong structures. That is actually pretty cool, man. Heck yeah, I want a stronger harpoon. I don't actually see any modifications though, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. We have zero scrap now, so it's fine. I'm guessing as soon as I get out of here and right away, he's going to detonate it. I'm actually not really sure what's going on. I was about to say, where the hell did my car go? Oh my god, dude. Hold on. Wait, I'm confused. Where the fuck did this guy come from? Okay, brother. Uh oh. I don't want him to slam into me. I want him to fix it up before I get back into it. Come on, get it, buddy. Hey, that didn't do anything to him. Oh, come on. You the little bitch that wanted to ride me over, huh? I'm not even gonna shiv you, I'm just gonna fucking punch you to death. Oh, it's crack. Alright. This could work as cover. Look at this thing's freaking bull bar, bro. Okay, so we've pretty much we've knocked that out. We're gonna do a scavenger location. Jump Oh god. I'm assuming the scavenger location is probably, uh... Oh, hello, friend. I'm not in my car. I don't give a crap. Come on, bitch. Did he just ride away? What a pansy, dude. Head crime's crap just bolted! Yeah, whatever. It's all good. I'm not too worried about it. We're about to bolt too. We're about to steal their stuff. Get over here! Alright, let's go. Come on. Oh yeah? Show me. Oh, I kind of wish that was going to connect. Oh my word. I honestly was looking forward to that. So, two? Two scrap? Oh, that's pretty decent. Also, the nice thing is... Ooh, and a historical relic. This is... Uh, this is still our town. These are still our streets. Uh, we the... I can barely read that. <clears throat> we the downtrodden, the trampled, the forsaken, will not stand back. Don't let the goodness 
of the common man be stamped out by the henchmen and faceless riches. If you want water, just take it. Well, that sounds a little bit uh, barbaric, but sure, 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 just take it. Who are we to let you down? I am kind of uh, wondering if my car needs some gas. Here I am, Chumley. Let's, uh... Okay, so... That's really weird, that I can't actually use one of these. I have to use the back one. I'm presuming... I'm not entirely sure how empty we are. Right. We actually weren't that empty. I thought we were emptier than that. I'll tell you one thing though, this car's pretty good on gasoline for like being what it is, being the V6 that it is. And it's an older engine too, because you can tell by the uh Yep. You can tell by the uh air filter on the top. It's the old round air filters the older cars like in the seventies used to have. Alright, so we are going to take a drink of water. I now notice that I actually have to hold the number four button down and I cannot just push it. That's fine. All right. All right, so next we're gonna stop and slam these guys in the face. So my thing is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if they are at the top or the bottom of a mountain. If they're at the bottom, I can just ramp down, right, instead of following the path. That might be them right there, actually. I'm just gonna follow the path, I think. Hold on, chum, waiting for some chop, bruh. Holy shit, that was actually pretty sick. If you notice, chum actually went into the car when you realized we were gonna be in trouble. That was actually pretty fucking cool. Alright, chum, so what we're gonna do is... We're gonna shoot at one of them and pull them over here. Not as cool, not like the last guy that hit the car. Oh, you got some moves, bro. You're Mike Tysoning me over here, bro. Yeah, I just shove him, kill him, whatever. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> spotting the man. Kick the hell out of him. Is there anybody else in there? Come on, bitch. No, I don't think so. Alright, well that was a pretty decent brawl. Let's see. We have one of one. But I'm curious why there's a ladder here. Maybe there's a shotgun shell I can take? No? Aha, knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. I'm down with always taking the shoddy shells, you know what I mean? Like, you can never have too many shotgun shells. When I spied you racing so deftly in the long lookers, oh, I knew, I knew you were special. Alright, hold that thought. Um, what is this? Okay. So there was another thing here that was, um, kind of like a, what you call it, right? Like a world information? There he is, okay, he didn't disappear. I never saw it on the map, on the big map. Oh, that's right, he was up top, I believe. How the hell do I get there?
Remember lads, if there isn't a road, you make a road. This time we're actually going to use our binoculars. Last time was just tragic, dude. And my belt is full. Crazy. Alright man, what you got for me, bud? See that? They say the husk lion there fell from the sky. Now the mad Lord Scrotus has ordered his sick pups to set up their camp there. I know they've a, a hidden treasure just around the, um, ah, what's it called, uh, wing? Hmm. Hidden treasure around the wing. So, um, minor perimeter defense with no gate, so that's good. And there's a project pot in the upper area, so that's also good. Is there anything I can get in there. do? Is there a, hmm, what's this? There's a war crier and there's a camp sniper. And I'm guessing we have to go up that big freaking ramp. Oopsie. A war crier and a sniper. However, we are not going to do it in this episode. I think that we can come back and probably do it in the next one because we are out of time. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. <sighs> Thanks for watching and uh, we will definitely be taking over the Rust Bird in the next one. Catch you then guys. Peace.